It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. This episode of the E-Commerce Minute is brought to you by SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. With SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes, it's just click, send, and save for as low as $4.99 a month. Send envelopes, flats, and packages right from your desk, and you're back in business in no time. And for being a loyal E-Commerce Minute listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and a free 10-pound scale to ensure that you'll never overpay. Save time and money on mailing and shipping with SendPro Online. Starting at $4.99 a month, you can qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping. Calculate exact postage online and print labels right from your PC. So go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. It's e-commerce minute episode 539. In today's episode, Newly is Urban's new clothing rental subscription service. There aren't many things you can't rent these days. You can rent purses, home decor, furniture, even clothing. But the fashion industry was missing a service that offered more affordable pieces available for rent, so Urban Outfitters has filled that gap. Combining the growing trend of rental services and the popular concept of subscription boxes, Urban Outfitters has officially launched their rental subscription box called Newly, and that's spelled N U U. L-Y because internet. Newly is a rental platform that offers more than 1,000 items from over 100 different brands. For $88 a month, subscribers can rent six items at a time per month. For those of you doing the math in your head, Newly essentially offers consumers the chance to rent around $800 worth of clothing for $88, which isn't too shabby. Newly also offer extended sizing, which we don't always see in urban stores. In addition to the Urban's own brands like Anthropology and Free People, other brands like Levi's, AYR, and Gal Meets Glam are available in the subscription boxes. At the end of the month, customers will return all pieces using a prepaid label and the packaging they arrived in. The bags are made with reclaimed ocean plastic since Echo Awareness aligns with the same demographics that Newly targets. Customers also have the option to purchase any pieces they rent from Newly at a discount from the retail price. According to Urban President David Hayne, the company wanted full control over its rental model, which led to it building the operations from scratch, a digital inventory tracking system, a new e-commerce experience, shipping, delivery and returns processing, and a fully owned dry cleaning arm have been added to their in-house processes in light of Newly. This is uncharted territory for Urban, so we'll keep an eye out how this pans out for the brand. It's a good price. Yeah, it is because a pair of jeans at Urban Outfitters are $88. Are they now? They literally <laughs> are, at least. Nods the old man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. That's actually not bad. 88 ducks for a good pair of jeans. For young girls like me. Yeah. I, I so a good, good pair of jeans is a hundred bucks. Even that, but yeah. considering that you're getting six items a month for 88 bucks and then you turn it back in and the season changes and you get a whole new wardrobe, but it's mm-hmm. not, not too bad. And not I, too I can probably see, and I see where they're going with this because someone will get the pair of jeans and they go, Oh, I love it. And then urban will just turn around and sell it to them for 50 bucks for a discount. That's pretty dope. That's oh, that's still a win. Idea. It's still a win yeah. for everybody. I can see this being a Christmas gift a lot this year. That's what I see for this because it, I feel like a lot of mo- like when I see people in urban buying all this stuff, it's usually the moms carrying it and paying for it for their daughters. Uh, that's a great point. You know? Yeah. I also think college kids would win on this one. Right. Yep. Like, oh, yeah. here's here's my uh, fall stuff. I'm going to rent it. And then yep. here's my winter stuff. I'm going to rent it. And then, like, I don't have to store this crap. Yep. Yeah, that's an interesting number, 88, because it's under 100. It's above 75, so it doesn't seem too cheap. It's it's an interesting price point, but I think it's something that people will go, yeah, I think I could do that for, for, what, for what you're getting in return mm-hmm. and also the discounts on clothing. I think it's great. And if you budget it, $22 a week. If, you're, if you do it that way, like I do with my brain <laughs> when I'm trying to buy things. So le- the only thing we can compare it to, I guess, Brittany, would be the rent the runway, which we have here at 159 a month. That's double. But isn't that stuff a little bit more like high end? High end, yeah. yeah it's more like dressy stuff. Uh, yeah. That's rent the one rent the runway is more for people dressing up for events if you will or office jobby jobs where you have to be you know you have to look presentable Mm -hmm. that stuff that's like that i think that's a different like i don't know if that's a good comparison i mean it's really the only comparison that we have but 
Right. It's just their competition, I guess. Right. And rent the one rent the runway lets its members rent four items at a time. Oh, but you can swipe as often as they want. So mm-hmm. that's a big difference there. But you're talking about this urban outfitter stuff. It's very casual. So you wear a pair of jeans, you're gonna wear that pair of jeans probably for two weeks and then you're just gonna like, you know, swap and it's like shirts and stuff. They're so smart too, because I mean, if you're getting a pair of Levi's, once you put on that first pair of Levi's, you are going to want to buy them. You are going to want to own them and you're going to want to wear them. And I think that's like, you know, the behind the scenes thing of it all, because everybody knows like how comfy and cool Levi's are. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where they know that people are going to want to keep them forever. So we're looking at a page here. Uh, one of these curated pages, the denim page. I really feel out of touch looking at some of these fashions. This looks like somebody who um, is is was that was not at Woodstock and tried to imagine what people at Woodstock would be wearing. You're so All right. Weird, weird, like these weird bell bottoms and high waisted jeans are back in style which I don't think they looked good the first time they were in style. And I still hold that opinion. I don't think it looks very good. Hey, John. Hey, John. Somebody wears them every day. I know. (laughs) Oh, really? (laughs) I like bell bottoms. That's not what I was talking about. Oh, no, I know. Brittany, let's uh, let's, let's talk fashion for a second. What what is the appeal with the giant bell bottoms? Do you want to know what the appeal is? Do you want to know from a girl? Do you want to really well, honestly? Yes. That's why I asked. Yes. Okay. So to be real, they make you look skinny as heck. And here's why. Because they're so high waisted and tight in comparison to the large bottom that it gives the illusion of like a curve. And they're just so flattering and so just chill. It's like one of those pieces, bell bottoms, where since it's like brought back, it's so comfy that you could wear like on a night out too. So it's like jeans, but make it fashion. Do you know what I mean? That's what people do no, with them. Today. I understand the lines and I understand the whole optical illusion part of it. Uh, just some of these just look. Fashion statements, fashion <laughs> tips by Brittany Black. Fashion yeah. tips by Brittany Black. <laughs> you are welcome. All right. I'm not the most fashionable person in the world, but if you need any advice on optical illusions <laughs> from your girl. <laughs> I've perfected the art of optical illusion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quick stat time. The digital clothing rental industry is worth approximately $1 billion in 2017. It is on track to grow to a compound annual growth rate of 10.6% from 2017 to 2013. That's according to payments. And the average American is estimated to throw away 81 pounds of used clothing annually. I think I just threw away 75 pounds of t-shirts last week. And boy, did I, I Marie kondo the hell out of my t-shirt collection. <laughs> Let me tell you, kids. <laughs> She'd be proud. She'd be proud. All right, Brittany, why don't you tell us about today's sponsor? Shipping and mailing from your desk has never been simpler than with SemPro Online from Pitney Bowes. With SemPro Online from Pitney Bowes, it's just click, send, and save for as low as $4.99 a month. Send envelopes, flats, and packages right from your desk, and you're back to business in no time. And for being a loyal e-commerce minute listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and a free 10-pound scale to ensure that you never overpay. So save time and money on mailing and shipping with SemPro Online. Starting at $4.99 a month, you can also qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping, calculate exact postage online, and print labels and stamps right from your PC. So go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. The hardest thing I had to do was go through my t-shirt collection. It's a, it's a weakness that I have. It's a weakness. <laughs> oh, man. I, I love t-shirts. And I had to do the Marie Kondo and look at this old Philly shirt with a big stain on the front and said, did this spark joy? Well, of course I kept that shirt. Um, but... <laughs> I got rid of so many shirts and I'm like, I wish I could find someone to like buy these old shirts, but alas, no one wants my old sweaty t-shirts. Or you do what I did and just buy all black t-shirts. That's yeah, it. that's what I should do, Bart. Right. You know, and then I also have one. So what I did was I totally recondoed my, my drawers and I even folded them and, and made them nice so that 
I don't just start piling them on top of each other. And then six months later, I'm doing the same thing over again. But then I do have this one section of all gray t-shirts. I'm like, I look good in these gray t-shirts. Why don't I wear them? And then I opt for like, you know, something with a fire truck on the front of it. Cause I'm yeah, like, it made, uh, I gotta <laughs> say it made my life easy. It's like, I just have a stack of black t-shirts. I'll I mean, the summer, the summer is different. Like d- down the shore, um, I'll bring like literally almost the five same t-shirts every time. <laughs> They're not the black ones, but like, cause it's hot and you don't want to be in the black t-shirt, but I was like, why don't we just leave them down the shore? Cause they're exactly the same shirts I wear every time we're down the shore. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave my short house, uh, short shirts there and just that'd be it. Short shirts. Sure shirts. Sure shirts. We sell sure shirts by the seashore. <laughs> oh, I think there's a good idea for a new company, my friend. <laughs> sure shirts. I'll tell you why I don't wear gray. Why? Sweat too much. That is the, sh- the color of sweat. That it, like, if you are a sweater, you know to stay away from gray. That's why it I don't wear them. The most evil color. So good for you, John. Okay. All right. Being a sweater. More fashion tips from Brittany. Uh, you guys got anything else? <laughs> nope. Nope. So Brittany now has a food podcast and a fashion podcast coming soon. Look forward to that. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you in your internet tomorrow. <laughs> right after my Jersey Shore podcast. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion, or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.